The late adopter. Hey, so how you doing? Uh, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the new video. Right now we're doing BitTorrent, uh, and there were guys on our Telegram group that were asking me hey, about. Please give us good news on Bit uh, BitTorrent. So I told him we're gonna go to the one hourly chart, and I'm gonna extract the most bullish news I can get out of that. Unfortunately, there are no good news on one hourly chart, so we're gonna try to look at the weekly chart. That said, uh, let's actually look uh, what's actually happening now and uh, what we can extract from this. But uh, I, there are some positives uh, in all of this. Let's get into the charts. So yesterday we had uh, the same chart, or uh, we were looking at the same chart over here, the last uh, consolidation period, and we are looking. What we are looking basically right now is when the bottom uh, will hit, uh, how long till the bottom hits. Because you have to understand, you pumped hard after the pump, it, there comes consolidation period, and these consolidation periods can last for a while. Uh, you won't dump 90% something like that because the, obviously the bull market is not over. Uh, it's not obvious. I mean, it, it might be like, but. If it, the bull market was over, all these alts would already start bleeding like crazy. But they are not bleeding; just, they are just consolidating. That gives me really, really good indication that the bull market is not over, and we are just uh, right now experiencing some kind of dump. Uh, but once uh, once the dump is finished, uh, that uh, this might actually look uh, look better, look better. So uh, what we had here yesterday, uh, there, there was some support lines, right? And there was some targets. So basically on this candle over here, we were all the way up here when I made the video and I said like this, uh, this uh, resistance up here, uh, that would be the most bullish case scenario to break. Well, up here, more, up best case scenario up here, but you know, we take what we get. So I said 0 0.081. As you can see, we didn't even get close to that. We actually closed below this white line. The white line is 10 moving average. So that's bearish. We closed by that, but we got, we became even more bearish than that. We closed below 79 line. That That's terrible. Like, we closed here. As you can see here, uh, once we got to this line, uh, 79 line, we create support here. We held the support really nice. Even when we broke it the next day, we just came back up and broke it next day, oh, shoot right up again. And now we broke it, but we were unable to get out. We were unable to get out this time. And you can see what's happening today. Uh, we are having the red candle. So right now we are hoping for this support up here to hold 0 0.77, uh, this support. There are two supports down here, 77 and... Uh, 76 and these two over here so hopefully one of those will hold and we will actually uh, instead of say, sitting at 79 levels we will be sitting at 76 77 levels so that's what we're hoping for so that's the most uh, bullish case uh, scenario right now to find the support on 70 76 77 line uh and uh, the technicals are looking good the technicals on the daily are looking good we are sitting right now at uh, something around 54 on the this rubber band index which is where fine numbers before we start run up you can see here uh, previously before we started running up we are also sitting at 50 levels and now we got into those levels on, on the daily chart because of this uh, consolidation that's why this consolidation is very, very important you gotta uh, you gotta bring back these uh, these uh, you gotta bring back these uh, indicators uh, down to normal levels and 50 is normal level uh, and sit right sitting right there also this mac deep uh, bearish cross these uh, red uh, uh, histograms uh, the longer this goes on the more bullish it becomes uh, i'm just going to show you here uh, that uh, here on the bottom where it started going up uh, we were over here let me zoom let me try to zoom in this little bit so you can see this so basically uh, when it got hit the bottom it it changed from the deep red to the light red right so that's what we're waiting for we are changing uh, we are waiting for uh, for the change from the deep red to the light red these things happen like uh, you know because somebody pumps really hard and you think that's the change but yeah so it doesn't go, we don't have to have this cross that everybody talks all the all time about um, between the uh, signal line and the and the moving average the blue and the per orange uh, we only have to do, have the change between diverging uh, these diverging lines meaning going away from each other to the converging means going towards each other and they are converging converging against each other when they are in this uh, light uh, light area right so as soon as it starts converging that would be uh, be indication that there's some kind of button and that usually comes uh, when we hit these uh, lows over here that we are right now hitting. You see right now we are hitting these lows. So that's best case scenario. We are hitting some kind of a bottom. So will actually this 77, 76 hold? Uh, that depends to see. But right now we are hitting some kind of bottoms. The good thing, the very good thing, the, the good thing you can be actually uh, like 
uh, not proud but, but like it, that can relax you a little bit is that you are actually dumping or consolidating while everything else is consolidating and dumping as well okay uh, there have been a lot of coins that came to, uh, hit the top and then were going through the consolidation where everything else was going like 10 20 percent up you don't want to be there right because you are losing a lot of money because everything else is going up while you're just sitting there right uh, right now at least you can be like yeah everything is go down so it doesn't matter that this consolidation is taking place because you know everything is not moving but when this is done and everything starts moving you want to move really right so that's the good news right if everything is gonna already go and bleed i mean some coins are not bleeding like uh, you know they have been uh, doing uh, nicely and going a little bit up and stuff like that but uh, you're gonna see when everything goes like plus 10 15 20 percent up you want to be there right and that means that you should put these these uh, indicators as low as you can so today is uh, tuesday thursday wednesday wednesday today wednesday today uh, so these indicators are uh, pushed enough uh, down so i'm thinking maybe until uh, maybe this week this uh, during this week i don't know how far uh, low this is gonna go you can see here right now we are hitting this uh, uh, support down there will it break the support or not doesn't matter if we break support you can go all the way down to like you can see these levels these weeks down here it's normal pull, uh, pull when you go down and then it uh, gets bought back up right uh, above these resistances but i'm thinking at least you have to at least have a week uh, this week close in re uh, red as well because you had one uh, right now one week two week this is third week in red at least thir three third week red because you want to get as close as possible to this 10 moving average on on the weekly chart uh because uh the closer you get the better pump you can have uh, later on right so the, you want to get as close as uh, you can and you can see here on the rubber bear index on this weekly chart that you hit uh, 94 95 levels so there are some very big levels and slowly week by week these levels are reached i think to 78 to 75 now sitting at 73 so it's, uh, even 75 is a nice level so this can already start pumping uh, and we can also draw something like this this already broken and maybe down here i don't know i've seen people draw uh draw on rsi charts so maybe that's a thing but you can see here maybe it's hitting some kind of support on rsi who knows uh, i don't know if that's actually a thing but i thought why not draw it why not draw it on the rsi chart want to draw to another chart either way uh, this this doesn't have to get to these uh, 50 levels i don't think it will ever get uh, to these 50 levels until the market is over because this is a weekly chart it's gonna just gonna pop above 60 levels or something like that all the time so it's uh, it's gonna go like you know above 60 levels it's gonna be so you want to keep it above 60 levels. the closer to 60 level the better uh, around 70 levels is also nice uh, contrary to the daily chart where you want this to hit some kind of 50 levels down here all the way down here before for starting going up either way uh i don't think today is the day especially because bitcoin is going like two three percent down right now how much down? 2.45 2.3 percent uh down uh we are kind of bearish because we are below the 10 moving average and all of that but the good thing is you are bearish uh you are consolidating while everything else is bleeding uh so that must be a good thing like you cannot cry about it you know you don't have to experience the feeling when your coins are down like 10 20 percent while everybody else is like up to like 30 40 percent you know and everybody's oh i'm making money and you're like you know that said subscribe to the channel we do bit torrent updates every single day uh also we do uh, have a telegram channel a nice bunch of people and check down the, below the link for patreon i think you're gonna like it i think you're gonna like it real nice so check that out i'm not gonna say what it is but check it out check it out thanks guys for watching see you around bye bye